Good morning guys from Busra, from Syria. We are one of the oldest cities in Syria. Can I say that? Yes. Yes, and I'm here with my guide, Mary. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Are you excited? excited? To, are you yeah. excited to show yeah. me around? Yeah. So, wow, it's super dark here. Are we gonna get some light now? Yes. Okay. Okay, you're gonna hold on with us, guys. <laughs> Left? Okay. We are visiting one of the one of the best preserved uh, amphitheaters and the castle oh, wow. from the Roman Empire times in Busra city in Syria. And we just entered to this place. There is a little bit of a light. I think we're gonna go a little bit of darkness and then later we'll be fine. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Good? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So you are taking us upstairs? Wow, this looks amazing. It's a little dark, but we're gonna go get, we will get outside right now? Yeah. Amazing. Wow, this is amazing. It's like just freshly built, right? It looks amazing, like it doesn't look that old even. I will tell you why. Okay. So Mary gonna give us some details. If you are watching my video first time from Syria, then you have to know that you cannot visit Syria without a guide. That's why I have Mary with me. She's taking me around, making sure that all the checkpoints are clear with my documentation. And also she's giving me details about this historical and amazing places. Oh, we are gonna enter now to one of the best preserved amphitheater in the world. Yeah. Woo! Amazing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Look at this stage. I have seen something similar in Jordan, but this is much bigger. Much bigger and probably better looking. Yeah. Of course. And there is Nobody here, it's only us. It's insane. So, you wanted to give us some details, Mary? What are we looking at here? And Yes, it's the um, Roman amphitheater. Uh -huh. uh, it's built in the 2nd century. 2nd century, wow. Yeah. So, it's 1,800 years-ish old. Yes. And, and you see it's um, basalt stone, uh -huh. because we are in a volcanic region. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's too hard. Too hard? <laughs> yes. Very hard. So that's why you think it kept like so well, right? Yeah. Because of the material uh, of the stone. Yes, yes. They, they found... Uh, actually, people here in Busra uh, were living above this theater. Wow. And a man was digging to build his house there and he finds Here. that column. Wow, that's and beautiful. Then they start to digging and they found this. Piece. Ah, so this was like under, under the ground. Under the ground. Yeah. So they were covered up like on purpose to, to keep it or it yes. was or volcanic no, eruption no, 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 or whatever. No. no, it was on purpose. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. So they started digging, digging and then, wow, I cannot imagine you dig <laughs> and you find like whole <laughs> Amphitheater like under your ah, there's actually echo while I'm talking But but you can hear the echo. That's super cool. Do you know Mary how many seats we have here? How many people can fit in? More than 15,000. 15,000. Wow. Yes. We used to have festivals here every year in Busra. Ah, even still today it's used? No, not uh, not anymore. Not before, before the crisis? The crisis before yeah. the crisis, exactly. okay. Wow, amazing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go downstairs, no? Yeah. We can we can do that oh, without falling, hopefully. <laughs> that would be a shame on the video. <laughs> but we will, as you can see, the stairs are super steep and... It can be empty in five minutes. Yes, because of that doors. You see how... Ah, there are lots of doors. 
and then downstairs as well. Yeah. Wow, that's a nice fact. It's very interesting. I mean, I have seen lots of lots of amphitheaters in my life for sure. Starting from Turkey to Jordan to Lebanon and everywhere else where the Romans been. But this one is one of the best probably I have seen. Incredible. Can we go to the stage? Oh. I'm gonna sing for you. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Look at this guys. And the sun is just on spot. Shining on the stage. Looks amazing. Mary was talking about this small doors everywhere, that's why it can be empty in only in five minutes. 15,000 seats. That's really insane. We go this way? Uh -huh, we have stairs here. Amazing. We're gonna make some Instagram pictures here for sure. We should. <laughs> okay, should we do the echo test? Of course. From the stage maybe? Oh. So Mary, do you know what type of performances were done here? Not really. No, come on. Julio. Julio. Ah, okay. Yeah. So concerts? Yeah. Of okay. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do the echo test. Okay. What we should what we should say? Just uh, I will do I will say Surya. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Clearly, even like I speak like normally like this. Wow, so I don't have to shout. Surya! Nice. <laughs> it's amazing. Can we go to the backstage as well? Okay, I'm gonna explore. If you wanna join, you are more than welcome. Look at these columns, like... It's insane. Is is this reconstructed or it's real? Which one? The white stones. Uh, no, it's, real. it's from here. Yeah. So it's not reconstructed. So just because this place stayed under the ground, that's why it's yes. well and, kept, and right? And also because they built uh, the castle uh, around, around it. The, yeah. yeah. So from the wind and yes. flooding and whatever. Yes. That's why. Okay. Is it gonna get dark there, or we can just walk around? Oh, this brother, I think he's trying to sell us some, uh, but let's let's make a business with him so he, he go. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is insane. Looks like a fl from movies. No, seriously, like the lightning, how it's like shining on the wall. Yeah. It's just amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go check it out. Why not? This is probably... My first time and last time here. Wow. There is this a hole on the top which makes the sunlight go in. And this is how it looks like. Beautiful. And then there's a big hole. Takes us. This takes us to where, Mary? To the uh, exit. To the exit. So people like who is entering uh, to the theater. And they can, because now we are uh, in the castle. Not ah, this the is the theater. castle. Ah, this is not theater anymore. No. Wow. This is the castle. This is the, okay. Yeah. This is the castle walls. Yeah. Starting from here and then a few steps away starts the... Brother, what are you selling? 
What do you sell? Show us. Let's go here to the light. What are you selling? Ah, uh, postcards. 21 cards. 21 card. How much? How much you want for this? It's 10,000. It's 10,000. 10,000 makes it how much? Three dollars. Three dollars. Can you make a better deal? Eight thousand. No yeah? problem. No, no money. problem. No money. No problem. Okay. <laughs> I, I will get it. Because I'm the only tourist here. There's nobody. One thousand will come. Souvenir. Thank you, brother. No, no, I already bought, I already bought uh, Alexander the Great thing. One, Two, one, three, four, five. Brother, 10,000. Thank you so much. Welcome. No coins. Uh, it's okay. illegal to take it out of Syria, brother. Thank you. This is a new one? It's a good one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm October, I don't know what Thank you. No, brother, no, no, no coins. No I coins. I already buy one from Mushtari. Mushtari? Welcome. Mushtari. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Come to go there. Okay. Again. Can you hold this phone? Yeah. Thank you. So, we are out on the stage again. Yeah. I think we came in a really good time. I think it was raining. The, yeah, yeah. There was the water. Yeah. But now it's good. They, uh, they put this uh, white column uh -huh. because it's boring to just see the dark. Dark, ah, uh, okay. That's spot. why there are like white, yeah. white uh, columns. Yeah. You can see all around is just yeah. a dark stone. And how did you call the dark stone name? Basalt. Basalt. Basalt stone. Yeah. Basalt stone. And, and then you can see the like decorated yeah. with white stones. Looks amazing. Okay, uh, I think we wanted to go there, or no, we should go there. up. Yeah. Can we check out what's here? In this room? And I will also want you to ask uh, people who is working here, how often tourists are coming here? I see that I'm the only one today, I yes, guess. Yes, today you are the only one. Only tourists, like in whole. Yeah, and, wow, and that's insane. After uh, COVID, we have just... Um, Maybe one or two per in day a week. One two tourists. Yeah. Wow. Tours. Yeah. That's crazy. In the week. That's crazy. So guys, if you are considering to come to Syria, get your guide. It's it's super safe. It's super easy to get around, and the roads are perfect. And you get lovely people like this. Here's my driver. Here's my guide. So. It costs you a little bit, but of course you get to experience the beautiful country and historical sites as well. So, what are these columns are we looking at? I love columns. <laughs> I mean, everywhere I go it's only columns. This is from the war? From the civil war or before the war? So, this is from the civil war. Wow. So, this is like destroyed like 10 years ago or maybe even less. Less, right? Yeah. And then very interestingly, you can see the bottom of it. There's actually iron inside, which keeps the columns all together. Probably it's falling from here. Very nice. Okay, what else we now have to see have here? See. Let's go up to Let's take go up. the Instagram photos. Okay, we can do that. And then we will get out from the amphitheater. We can go up from here? Yes, go there. Okay. The stairs are so big. I cannot just imagine the person's face <laughs> when they were digging here and they find like, we <laughs> find like a whole amphitheater, which is like 1,700 years old or 800 years old. So, I don't cut my videos, guys, so you get the feeling of being here, walking in this beautiful amphitheater with me and Mary. Up. Oh, my breathing. We need to take it slow, huh, Mary. <laughs> Amazing. 
and I know I see that some of the seats actually look looking like a normal seat, not like just a stone. Yes. Like VIP. VIP. This ones are VIP. So I need a picture there. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. There are more rooms here when this part is destroyed. And you can see the city. We go up? Yeah, here. From here? Okay. Let's do it. Almost there. You wanna I am one of the best? Ah, the best picture place. Wow, you can see much more there behind. Is that a church destroyed? There's like a church in the back, like right here. Yeah, yeah, we have also the old city, we will see. Old city, okay. Now we are uh, on the south of Busra. Okay. Yes. So we will drive there, right? No. No, we will walk there. Okay. <laughs> I have to do my steps, so we're gonna walk. So, here is the amphitheater. How beautiful is this? Okay, Mary, is there anything else you want to share with us? No. No? They used to put their uh, statues for, uh, like, god of uh, music, god of art. Okay. You know. You mean statues like on the middle in or the up? In the windows. Ah, in the windows? Yeah. So there was a statues? Yes. And do we know where are they now or they're destroyed? No. We don't know. Okay. We don't know. So these windows you see guys here on the wall, there was a statues inside. As Mary said, I didn't say that, it was <laughs> Mary. <laughs> you take the responsibility for that yes. Mary. Yes. Amazing. Here is the tour of one of the best preserved amphitheaters from the Roman times in Syria in a city called Busra and Busra is we are right now in south of Syria south right? Of Syria, yeah. So it's the south of Syria are we close to any country here? Lebanon maybe? Uh, no Jordan. To Jordan so yes. that side is Jordan? Yeah. Okay. To the south it's Jordan. Jordan amazing and then there is a nice mosque in the distance as well and what we see here, this is, these are the castle walls, yeah, right? Exactly. Which is built around it. Yeah. And then castle was built without knowing that there was something here? Or no, no, afterwards? they knew that. They because knew. Before, uh, uh, like, before they built this uh, amphitheater, uh, the Nabatian have a castle here. Okay. The same place. Same place. And then Roman built this. Uh, amphitheater uh -huh. and then uh, Muslims uh, built the castle again again around reconstructed the, kind of yeah yeah around the theater okay wow yes incredible it's the only uh, theater in Syria which built uh, which uh, built on the level of the uh, the city earth. yeah the city okay yeah normally no they use the hill yes I have seen that in Amman in Jordan actually. Yeah. They use the hill to lean the kind of yes. the amphitheater on it and then they build it kind of like that. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. this one as you can see we are on the city level. So basically they had to build up all this exactly. stuff on the other side and so then it's very strong. Wow. Incredible. Okay guys, here is the last view for you of the amphitheater from Syria from a city called Busra. Hopefully you enjoy it without tourists and basically there's nobody as as uh, Mary mentioned <laughs> there's only one tourist per week which is a little bit sad to hear that because this is such a yeah. incredible place to be at. 
Okay. Yeah, we see what he has. Right now we are leaving the amphitheater behind us, which is called Busra Amphitheater. Yeah. Busra Castle as well. You can see the yeah. walls of the castle and inside it there was a amphitheater. If you want to see that, check out my other videos. But right now we are going for pomegranate juice or orange juice. I promised to that gentleman, so I have to go to him. <laughs> you, saw, you told him? We promised him? Yeah. Okay. But I like. Maybe later. What is, what is this? You live here? Yeah. This is your house? I like this sitting place. Looks very comfy. This is your shop? This is his house? His shop. His shop. Bro, we come, we come, we come after. Ah, this is your shop. Wow. Small shop. MashaAllah, I like it. It's very nice. It's a cave shop. Ah. What is this? I have no madam. No madam. Friend, my wife. No, no wife, yeah, no friend. kids. That's good the price, my friend. I know we have. What is this? Food. You find it this here? Is, yeah, it's near the old city. Old city. Yeah, old city. That's good the price, my friend. Bro, you know how much? You know that this costs like millions if you put it in a London museum. <laughs> but no, I don't want to take any responsibilities for uh, statues. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. Yeah. Bro, you should I'm sell it for it's one million. Already. <laughs> no, I see what you have. This was the gentleman, so uh, yeah, yeah. it was the same guy? Yeah. Ah, okay, it's the same guy, okay. So we made a business already with you. There are some findings. I think these things cost like millions for museums, but they're just selling it here randomly for five to ten dollars, whatever they can make business out of. This is nice picture. This is Busra? No? Syria, Syria. Ah, this is Surya. Okay, no Busra. And this is traditional dress? Yeah, it's near Syria. Ah, very nice. Yeah, it's near Syria. It's a good price. Move the camels? Move the camels? They used to move from camels. Ah, yeah, of course. Like transportation yeah, with camels. Yeah, and they passed Busra because it's also on the Silk Road. Ah, it's, it's also on the Silk Road, so yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Amazing, bro. No, 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 no coins. <laughs> bro, no, no. No. <laughs> I need, I need help here. My, my friend, I need help. Brother, I, I don't want to buy this. Okay, you give me something else, I buy. Mary, I need help. What? Do you want something I buy for you? Like you, you decide something small, not too expensive. You bought something. Yeah, but uh, he say again we should buy something. No, bro, no, 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 this. <laughs> so what? What do you have? You like something here? I buy for you. No. No, do you like something from me? <laughs> What do you like? I buy. Bro, you don't have much. It's only stones and... What's this? Bro, do you want this? Do you want this? <laughs> uh, but he's not Muslim. He's... You're Muslim? I am Muslim, okay. <laughs> You want it? How much is this? 10,000. 10,000 is too much or it's a good price? 5,000? I don't like. buy it. I buy it for you. Five? Five. Six. 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 Okay, six. Let's do it. Bro, I don't need it. I just want to. Bro, no, 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 we are done with you. No, no, we are, no, no, it's okay, I don't want it. I said alphabet. I already have uh, postcards. Alphabet. No, no, it's okay. It's souvenir. No, it's okay. Thank you, thank you. Shukran. <laughs> Shukran, brother. Keep it. Shukran, David. You can, you can pray and remember me.
Yeah. Okay, here's a pomegranate. This is supposed to be pomegranate yes. video. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. Hello. What do you have for us? Granat orange. How are you doing? What's your name? What's his name? Taysir. 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 My name is Davud. Okay, what do we do? You say pomegranate is good? Mix. Mix? Mix. Okay. You want to? Yeah, fine. How much is it? Yes. How much is it? One dollar. One dollar. So three thousand. Okay. So three. Okay. Three of them. Okay. No, I I I, sh I show people how you make it. This is not uh, many times people come here, so I want to show them how the pomegranate juice is done in Busra, next to the one of the well-preserved amphitheaters. Can you tell him when did he see the last time tourist here? Like a uh, Yabanji? Two days ago. Where they were from? From Russia? Yeah. Ah, okay. Maybe it's the... I have, I think, two people staying in the hotel. Maybe they were the... Yeah, here, with his, the wife. Ah, okay, then it was different. It was two guys I have seen. So how many tourists you see every week, approximately? One or two a week. Wow. What's your name? Noai. Noai? Noai. Luai? Luai. 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 My name is Davud. Nice to meet you, brother. Okay. Pomegranate juice is on the way with oranges. Can you ask him where is this pomegranate come from? From his garden? Yeah, from Haran, from this region. From Haran, from this region. Okay. Is it from his garden or? No, not, his. not from. You still, you steal it from the trees? This <laughs> area. I'm joking, brother. You welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, I am. A... I am not rich. You are rich, I brother. Am, you are. I am poor. You are rich in your heart. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Richness is not in the money. Richness is your in your heart. Yeah, I told him. You told him. Okay. No, no. Who will help you with your money? Ah, he's rich now because he saw us. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Welcome. Wow, how many he does? Like, he's cutting like, I don't know. A lot. A lot. Like, how many did he cut already? Can you ask? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, very nice. Nice. Ladies first. Ladies, huh? Even there's a straw. Let's not use the straws. I don't think they are you clean. Can't, you can't I wouldn't use the straws. I think they are used. Yeah. Very nice, brother. Thank you so much. I test first. If it's bad, I don't pay. You can't sit here. No, no, we are okay. We, we will go explore. Thank you. Here is the first test of pomegranate juice in Syria. It's my first time. You tried it? Very good? Granada. Granada is very good? Okay. Let's test it. Mm. It's sweet. It's nice. Sweet. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice, brother. So we are paying one dollar for this uh, mix of oranges and pomegranates. Very good price, brother. I need to. We need to pay. So three thousand, three thousand, nine thousand. Yeah. Want one more? No, no, it's okay. 
How much? How much is the right price to pay? Three thousand is reasonable. Yeah. I want to pay more, maybe. This is the crazy money of Surian. Here's the Mr. President's picture here. This is the two thousands. Yeah. Three, four, five. Five yeah, is yeah, yeah. five is ten. I pay uh, seven. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Welcome. Shukran. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What was his name? Taysir. 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 Nice to meet you, Taysir. Shwai <laughs> shwai. Shwai shwai. You speak English. Shwai shwai. <laughs> little, little. It's good. Yeah, you speak Italian? What do you, what do you can say in Italian? <laughs> Buongiorno. Come stai? Huh? Come stai? Come stai? Okay. <laughs> Come stai is, is Italian? Maybe. How are you? I don't know. I don't know too. Come stai, How are you? How are you? Okay. You know, Buongiorno? Good morning. Buongiorno. Okay. They used to have many, many, many tourists before. But many tourists before COVID, before crisis or before COVID, before crisis. So he's working here for how many years? Twenty years you are here. So you seen the civil war, everything, COVID, and you are still here. <laughs> okay. He's alive and you are happy, happy and rich, rich in your heart. Yes. Nice to meet you, brother. You've been very nice. Thank you so much. Your son. How old is he? Eleven. Eleven years old. Does he go to school? Ah, you have more? No, maybe for her, not not for me. No, keep it, brother. Okay. Okay, a little bit. Okay, okay, enough, 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 enough. Thank you. You can you can give to him rest. He's in the fifth grade. He's in the fifth grade. And the school system is here how many years? 11 years or 12 years? 12. 12 years. Yeah. So, okay. In a few years, he will be ready for business in Syria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying? <laughs> what he's saying? Uh, he takes this day off. Ah, today is a day off. Just for him. Just for him, okay. <laughs> because, uh, because of ah, it was cold. Yeah. So no go school. No, 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 no just him. Just him. He ah, okay. So he okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, brother. Thank you so much for for the juice and nice to meet you, nice to meet you as well. Thank you. So this was the pomegranate juice hunt from the city called Busra in Syria one of the oldest cities in, in, in this area. So we're gonna say goodbye to you from here. Thank you so much for translating for us. You're welcome. Well, sure. Good afternoon, guys. From central Syria, right now I'm in a city called Homs. It's actually one of the biggest cities it's the biggest city actually in, in, in Syria, in central Syria. And what's devastating about this part of Syria is that most of the attacks and the destroyed buildings are here from the civil war. What you can see behind me and now in front of me is that all destroyed buildings just standing still without any people living in these buildings. What we're gonna do is that we will go past to the other side and explore it in more quietness without cars. But as you can see, people are going through their day-to-day -day life. Everyone is doing their business. 
and destroyed part of the city just also sta staying still wow this is crazy like you cannot see any windows at all <clears throat> and these buildings are probably gonna collapse in a few years without any human touch that's totally insane So uh, maybe I will give you a little bit of information about the civil war in Syria which started, the Syrian crisis started around 2011-2012 that's when things got worse and worse with the economical crisis, then the civil war and then still the country is suffering but the uh, country is also trying to recover from this crisis I'm just Specialized looking at these buildings, it's just insane. In the far distance, you can see also another building which is completely destroyed. We're gonna go a little bit not inside, but I want to show you how the core of the building is actually. You see, this there's almost nothing left from the concrete and it's actually bending slowly which means there is actually lots of weight on that columns and other columns are supporting the building so. I'm gonna go further to explore around and some more other buildings destroyed but some people actually using them as a shop or storage the bottom part of the building but upper part nobody at all I'm just speechless it's it's crazy and I cannot just imagine the atmosphere here while your own people were fighting each other in the biggest city in the country should be devastating and crazy feeling to be here look at this this is all from the tanks or from the airstrikes it's just insane ah there's a kid hello marhaba <laughs> and you can see one part of the building is already destroyed there is nothing left And then you can see also the mosque in the far distance. The minara is also partially destroyed as well, which is crazy. And this is what we see now. This is the leftovers from this crazy civil war of Syria. Look at this building. It's really insane. What I see here, let me show you guys, let me go a little bit closer. I'm gonna show you. So, still you can see there are some clothes. There is a carpet actually. This is like one, two, three, four. You can see here the red carpet in the fourth floor or maybe fifth floor, which means like people left their houses without taking almost anything I think this is just insane there are also crashed cars there on the middle of the road it's devastating it a little bit reminds me of uh, Chernobyl at the same time the difference is that there are still people living here and there are cars and normal day-to-day -day life Assalamu alaikum and what I'm showing you right now it's all probably just a 10, 10 maybe 5% of the destroyed buildings around this area 
and there is much more in the entrance of the city and then this is the main part with the highway where the most of the attacks were happening and there's probably used to be a building another one I believe here which is now like nothing left there What I'm gonna do is probably go to this direction. So before this it was raining like crazy actually. We just waited a little bit and now I'm super happy to have a nice weather. I even bought an umbrella because I I only have very limited days here. So if I miss the chance to record and show you guys what was happening and also as a chance to see myself then that would be disappointing because I have only five days in Surya. This is then as a part of the building. Like nothing left, no windows, you cannot even see the frame, you can just see the frames basically. No windows, no doors, nothing left. And you can see some of the columns are already destroyed, which means probably this is gonna collapse in the next few months, maybe few years. And um, I think one of the main questions I asked to my guide and to locals as well, the question is that this has happened like for a while now, it's almost uh, 10 years. So why there is no change? Why there is no reconstruction is going on? Why nothing happened? Nobody cleaned up the mess after the civil war, right? Let me show you, then I will answer for you why it's the case. You can see there are people are living actually in the upper floors, but this floor is completely destroyed. And then this is the part of the mosque, I believe. So answer to this question is that the country doesn't have money. Country doesn't have a strong economy to reconstruct all these places even to destroy these buildings like just collapse them and then use the dirt for something else it's so expensive that like even the governments don't have enough money to uh, to destroy these buildings or reconstruct them or rebuild them it's just basically not the not the case or there is no possibility with economical situation so it's actually make it it make it it makes it easier to keep it as it is. So, wow, I mean, I have like no words. You can see lots of bullet holes in the walls and obviously everything is destroyed. I can recognize there is this toilet area, I think, here with uh, blue walls. Look at this, look how many buildings are there all the way until end, all of them are destroyed and there's nobody living there except I see like one family on the top like somewhere here, but otherwise all these buildings on the left, on the right, it's just completely destroyed. Very very sad. Wow, let me show you something guys. Look at this, how this the floor being crashed all the way down from the heaviness. I don't know, probably this was three more floors up, but right now it looks like only two floors. Like you can see the columns, how this been bended. Yeah. So most of the buildings have a danger of collapsing. So I think that's the main thing is holding these buildings to be habitable again. And probably it will not be habitable for next few years. Assalamu alaikum. How are you brother? No, no. I make a YouTube video. Yeah. 
I come from Azerbaijan. 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 Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Uh, profile, did you? Yes, I, you have fun, I give you my name. <laughs> I, I show people this place, very sad, but it's good to document, yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, yes, yes. Sure, I will. You have English keyboard? Yes, perfect. I will write it down. So, here we go. The wood. Akunza, do you have internet or no? No, no, no. This is, you can screenshot it and then you will find me. Thank you guys. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? You are good? I speak only English. English? Yes. <laughs> you? A little bit English? I watch visit, look, I make YouTube video. Yes, yes, yes. Video? It's very sad, but... Yeah. Sorry, I don't understand you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I miss you. Bye bye, bye bye. I miss you. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you doing? You are good? Good. Yes, you speak a little English? Chut chut, a little bit, yes. <laughs> shwai shwai. Shwai shwai. Nice. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye. Take care. Super nice people. Some of them just sto stopped by the car and some of them just saying hi. So, yeah, uh, I was just saying probably these places will not be habitable for a few more decades because the country is just not strong enough to make the place how to say beautiful and shining again so many people are super nice that's one of the best things i love about traveling is that even people don't speak english but they're always super nice and very welcoming even in the places like this these people see in the verse can you just imagine your own citizens are fighting each other in your own country in the biggest city in the country and just fighting each other like with weapons and uh, airstrikes and snipers and things like that it's it should be very devastating for people here and uh, you might be asking also uh, that was one of the questions i was asking what happened to these people who was here so when the actually civil war started people started going to Damascus to the capital city most of them or some of them left the country if it was possible for them and wow so yeah most of them just left the country uh, but after the war they slowly got back to their houses if it was possible to live in them and but I think most of them also stayed in Damascus in the capital city. Probably this place used to be, I don't know, restaurant, cafe. There's a places to sit, I believe. Probably used to be one of the nice places to come visit in the street. But right now it's just not possible to do any business or do nothing at all. So yeah, oh, but there is a gentleman actually brave enough to go inside all the way. I mean, I could take my chances as well, but probably I will not do it. Or maybe I should do it. I wanna probably go a little bit further to show you the other side as well. So you see, what I have showed you, it's only a few percent of it. There's buildings on the right, buildings on the left, in a far distance as well. All of them are just completely destroyed. And another thing, uh, very important, is that mosque you see, which is fully reconstructed, but a uh, few years back, as a part of the civil war, it was completely destroyed as well. But luckily it is at least the government or maybe people actually themselves invested to rebuild the mosque again so now it looks super fresh and i'm very happy actually to see something very nice in the middle of all these destroyed buildings and houses 
So you can see some of the there's some of the businesses are actually operating. Surian Center, there's a car. Let's cross to the other side, I wanna show you more. Because why not? Probably I will not come here again. Probably this is the first and last time I am here. Probably this was the entrance of the mosque, but this part is not reconstructed. Wow, there are falling stairs. I think I will go there just to check it out. If you are new here, you have to know that I try not to cut my videos at all. So it's normally more authentic and it's more experience-based videos. So if you are new here, welcome. And this is the way I shoot my videos. So I want you to make sure that you feel like you are here with me, experiencing the places, experiencing the country. So welcome and I hope you enjoyed my videos and you will check out other videos as well. We will be going there to have a look what happened exactly. Wow, this is this is insane. Like there is no straight wall here. Like there is no wall that doesn't have a bullet. There is no wall that is not destroyed. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? You are good? Wow, look at this uh, stairs. It's just like hanging there from the... How do you call it? Wires or whatever from the irons. And the whole column is like just down. Like there's nothing in between here or either here. Good afternoon guys, we are here to do some little bit of a shopping, right now I'm in Surya in a city called Busra and we want to visit family, Syrian family and help them out a little bit. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, so many treasures here. So you will help me what to get? Yes. I see, I think this is a rice product of India. Bidna Shah, Rizq, brother. So we want to get some daily products to visit the family. Maybe some pasta, rice, tea, sugar, this stuff. What is this? So Mary, what are you getting? One kilo rice. One kilo? One kilo sugar. No, do it bigger. Like what is it? like take bigger this how that much one? is that? Like it's five kilo? kilo two kilos. It's two kilos. So let's take like three of them. Three of two kilo? Yeah, two. three of three kilo, two kilo. How are you, brother? You're good? <laughs> Salam alaikum. What's, what's the difference between this rice? Yeah, I'm asking. Ah, just the name. Okay. Ah, okay. So this one, three of them. Uh, let's take a tea. Tea, uh, chai. Oh, is there a box? Yeah, let's take three boxes like this. Three, three of these boxes. Uh, I think it's a 
Okay. Yes, that one, three, three of them. Assalamu alaikum. And then sugar, if they have like five kilo or something like that. Yeah, perfect. How many kilo is that? Okay. Five. Five kilo of that. Um, and then he can give us pasta. There is a pasta. Yeah. Macarona, yes. What's good? This is good? Okay. How many kilo? This is one kilo? Yeah. Okay, three, three kilo, three. You are visiting one family? Yeah. Okay. You want more? Uh, no, no, I think it's fine. This one and then uh, big oil and then that's it, I think. The big oil. Perfect. So we have a rice, we have a sugar, we have pasta. What else? And the rice, right? <laughs> Yeah. And then some sweets. Can he give us some sweets? Yeah. Which one you want? Uh, something like packed, maybe that we can just grab it and go, you know? Yeah. I don't see. Okay, maybe he can. Yeah, he can give us mix of this. I'm happy Mary's here to translate yes. things for us. So he's mixing it? Yes. How, how much is one kilogram? Uh, 7,500. Okay, let's do... I told him 5,000. Okay. Enough to okay, 5,000. So all of them has the same price? Yes. That's interesting. I think this is gonna be more like for kids and then the rest of the stuff for the family, right? Yeah. Do you think we should get anything else or this is enough? Yeah. Yes, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's okay, I take it. Okay. <laughs> we have it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you are here. You want help or it's okay? Thank you, shukran. We go. Be careful, be careful. Amazing. Shukran, shukran brother. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, now we are going to the family uh, to deliver this goods. Uh, I hope they will show me someone that actually in uh, in need so we find hopefully the right family to give all this stuff Mary thank you so much for helping me out with translation and everything so now we are moving to the family and then after we drop it we go back to Damascus right yes. amazing thank you guys Live together, they're, they're living here together yeah. they're not oh. here. So we changed our car because our car couldn't come all the way here. It's quite bumpy roads. But thanks to gentlemen here, they helped us to driving it to this place. So there are many families living here. Many families are living here. And we're gonna just visit them and surprise them. Okay, let's go. They're coming, Mary. Oh, there is a big dog. This is the gentleman. This is the bigger uh, head for uh, all his uh, for all Bedouins. Yes. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. How are you, sir? <laughs> so, so he's Bedouin, right? Of course. Yeah. Uh, I met lots of Bedouins in, in Petra, 
والله وين بتحب جاهز يا بنت هو الزلمه السلام عليكم السلام عليكم اه هاي دير هي مرحبا شوف وات هابن تو يور شوز اتس ستك Very nice. So this is the place they are living and working as well, right? Assalamu alaikum. Maybe can we just show around first and then we go inside? Is it possible? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite muddy here, but we're gonna explore a little bit to see what they have. It's little ladies walking around alone. <laughs> so, I think this is their farm, right? Yeah. Very nice. I can hear some goats and dogs. And they have chickens. It's okay to go? Yeah? No problem? Oh, goats. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Hi there. <laughs> These are the goats, they have super cute. Your, your shoe's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't step here, it's okay. Shh, shh. Quiet. Very nice. And maybe we can give the box to them now and then we can go sit inside. Yeah, yeah. It's quite windy. Not sure my camera is perfect for this wind. So can you can you ask them these are the families they're living in? Like yeah, yeah, these are all the families? Yeah. So they're living in the tents like uh, like what we say clean. Okay. You know uh, uh -huh. yeah. So the how many families are here? The, the big okay big man from this like uh, relatives okay uh, I will pick up the can you help me with the camera I will pick up the box and then yeah. we can go inside yeah we can go inside what's there assalamu alaikum <laughs> no go inside just see it's okay? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, this is very warm here. Very nice. <laughs> so, this is, I guess, where they sleep, basically. Very nice. Thank you. Shukran. Um, hey, this is the place. Is this the place they sleep? Yeah, for the winter. Ah, for the winter. Okay, yes. okay. I will bring the box if you can help me as well. Yeah. I hope dogs don't bite me. <laughs> so we have maybe 10 kilo, more than 10 kilo, I think, here, right? Yes, of maybe course. 15 kilo, something. Yeah. And maybe you can ask where we can leave this, either inside or outside. So this is this is for you. From, from me. Thank you so much. I love it. Too. Thank you too. Yes, it's cold. We can go inside. <laughs> Shukran, thank you. So what we have there will be distributed by a few families who is living here, and we've been invited to go inside as well. Without shoes, of course. Oh, nice. Real Bedouin style sitting, which I remember from Jordan. There are lots of Bedouins living in Jordan. Yes. Very nice. Thank you, Shukran. <laughs> I think he's generating light for us. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Looks better. Can you please ask him how many families are here? Now he will answer. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Uh, what, what is this? What is this? This they heat uh, the... Um, Spices? Coffee. Ah, oh, coffee, okay. This is coffee grinder? Ah, Jordan. Ah. Okay. So, how many families? They were originally from Sweda. Sweda. During the crisis, they moved here. Okay. And then he's farming here and also doing the olives things or only farming? Is that? <laughs> I think he's like, let me do stuff. <laughs> it's okay. We are, we are patient. We will wait for our answers. Uh, he's not going. He, he should come sit with us so we can talk. Brother, brother, come here. We, t tell him we don't need anything. We just want to come sit and go. It's okay. <laughs> ah, chai. Is it? Ask, ask him if it's Bedouin tea. I want Bedouin tea. I love yeah, Bedouin tea. tea. Now you will taste it from the sweet. It's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sweet tea, right? Bedouin tea. I love Bedouin tea. They put I, a lot of sugar. <laughs> I remember from Jordan and. Uh, the tea at wood they make it. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I had few tea also in Wadram with the Bedouins, like very the, sweet, like yeah, 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 very sweet. Now we will test. Let's test it. Shukran, Shukran, brother, Shukran. Thank you. Mm. This is very sweet, but I like it this way. You know his room is better than my house. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? You, his room is better than your house. <laughs> okay, Mary, we need answers. Yeah. What he's doing for a job? So I see he has animals and what else? <laughs> Brother, come sit here. So. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 he does for for work for? Okay. To the bazaars, to the souks. Yeah. Okay. To meet from the goat and the sheep, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then also he does the farming. I think he mentioned that but, they do. Uh, no, just simple things. Okay, okay, very nice. Amazing. I think we can finish the video here, then enjoy our talk. Yeah. Thanks to you for bringing us here. Thank you to you, to you Shukran. And thanks to him for hosting us. Yeah. If you can try. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thank you. So this was the Bedouin living from Syria, from the city called Busra. And we will see you in the next video, guys. Take care and bye bye. Let's do it. Wow. Hello, guys. Hi from Homs. It's the biggest city in Syria. And here's my guide. Hi. How are Hi you doing? Today. Good. This is Mary. Her name is Mary. And she's taking me to the must try sweet place in Homs. So we're gonna see how it goes. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Wow, there are lots of sweets here. What is this? Such a rich shop. There are lots of colors and sweets. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you? You are good? 
How are you? Good. We are here to try your sweets. What is this? It's halal to sugar. This is what we are eating, Maya? What we are eating? This is what we are eating? This one. This one? Yeah. What's the name? What's the name? Halal to sugar. Halal to sugar? Halal to sugar. Halal to sugar. Once more? Halal to sugar. Okay. Is this the same as this? Yes, but without this uh, mix. Inside. Ah. We will prepare it now for us? Or yeah. yeah, this is ready. Wow. What's inside? It's uh, like uh, a milky cream. Milky cream? Yes. Is it like cottage cheese inside or what is that? Yes. It's a cottage cheese? Exactly. Yeah. Inside is cottage cheese. Yeah. And this is what's outside? Yes. Okay. This is just the and then we have a pistachios on the top. Oh, lots of sugar, sugar. I know what's that. <laughs> we don't have enough sugar, I guess, inside. And to put on YouTube with the sugar. Nice. Mashallah, mashallah. This shop called the King of Halal Tajrib. Ah, you are the king of uh, whatever is the name I cannot say. Malek Halal Tajrib. Malek? Halal Tajrib. Malek means uh, angel. The king. Huh? That's Malek King. Malek King. King. Malek King. Malek King. Okay. okay, thank you brother. What's your name? My name is Ayman Ayyash. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> you are inviting us? You paid? Yes. Okay. Are we eating outside? Okay. Where are we eating? Outside? Okay. I need help. Open the door. You come brother. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. I guess we're gonna put it here. You have it too? Try it. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. <laughs> it's good? It's the best? Okay. I try to. This is how it looks like. We're gonna give a test test. As yeah. our so cottage cheese I think inside and outside I have no idea what is it, but we're gonna give a shot. It's good. Maybe the bite was too big. Ah, I had to eat half of it. I ate like whole thing. You see, there is a cut. I ate the whole thing. That's why it was too big. Oh, 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 oh. I dropped. Oh, <laughs> man. I dropped one down. It's okay. It's really nice. So, here is the cottage cheese, right? Yeah. Then we have uh, pistachios. Uh, and yeah, we have the top. dough basically outside. Yes. And I think the, the sugar you put, it was from the rose, right? Rose sugar? Because it tastes like it or smell water, like it. Water, sugar and rose water. Water, sugar and rose. rose water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And I... Can you tell us what is this? Uh, this is called Ermeshli, but I, I don't... How, how do you eat it? By your hands. Uh, you don't have to cook it? No, no. <laughs> you just eat it like that? Sweet. Okay. It's delicious. Okay, okay. Maybe he's giving to us some? Maybe? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think it's giving us. <laughs> okay, and as a test, I made a mess here actually. Let me move this here. Hmm? They're calling us inside. 
We're gonna try? Yes, you can. Oh, thank you. One? Ah, no, it's, it's enough. Try, try. I, I try this and then I eat more. If it's good. So it's sweet? Yeah. It's like a sweet chips. It's a sugar and what else? No, thank you. Bread inside the oven and then they uh, put sugar. Sugar, yeah, like this one and the color. Okay, so you just eat it with a tea, coffee, yeah, like just that. like that, like a chips. It was nice, but. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it again, I guess. It was good, but, but I like this one. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, it's Dawood. Dawood Akunzada, yes. Thank you for following me. You will see yourself there. <laughs> Thank you, shukran, brother. Thank you, bye-bye. See you, bye. And what was the price? How much did you pay? Shukran. This, yeah. One thousand five hundred. One one portion. Yeah. So one thousand five hundred is fifty cents. It's like forty-five cents for one portion. Well done. I'm gonna eat it here. One more bite. It's not too sweet. It's good actually. It's not like kunafa. It's not like too heavy. Hmm. <laughs> I like it. And there is a beautiful. I did the same. Ah, you dropped it too. Oh my god, we need to clean it up. There, there is a beautiful sunset over Doms. Ah, Doms. Homs. <laughs> Doms. Why I said Doms? I don't know. Anyway, this is the biggest city in Syria. As you can see, quite beautiful. This is more shining parts of homes and then in the other video you can also see the civil war leftovers in this beautiful city and the biggest city in central Syria. amazing thank you so much for bringing me here and this is the end of the video and we're gonna clean our clean up our mess <laughs> because they don't have a place to sit so we are just standing here and there's no place to put your stuff anyway see you guys in the next video from Surya thank you again for bringing us here